Hello everyone, this is Mr. Anderson, which nobody uh, ever likes to say anyway, and they call me Mr. A. Uh, anyhow, I decided to put out a video. You know, I should do that once in a while, I suppose. Uh, it's going to be kind of hit and miss here, because I, I don't like to put out real long videos anymore, because people's attention span is just not what it used to be yes look at that picture right there you might need a little something there well and you might need to drink after this next one here this operation big itch oh my biological agents used there utilizing fleas Ugh. Uh, that makes me itch just thinking about it uh, as a vector to deploy their their uh, weapon I suppose it's just kind of makes me cringe the fact that they would use yeah, fleas as a as a way to deploy their weapon. And, and watch out for that sketchy guy in the background. Look at that. Please, Lord. Oh, this next one here uh, was associated with Project 112. Well, as well as Project Shad and, and Agent uh, 115. It's just, you know, they've got all kinds of... Uh, words and names that they call it but just an appalling this, this is one of the worst i have ever researched and, and it just infuriated me you might want to pause this and, and take a good look at it and see what they did an actual field test of uh, a biological uh, chemical agent there in new york at the at the uh, subway at the bus station at the airport uh and those people didn't know what was going on, and they actively tested it. You saw how that they deployed the device, well, the chemical, if you will, uh, by smashing light bulbs, and uh, nobody knew what was going on. And this is a new one to me. It was associated with Project uh, Shad and Project 112. Okay, and, and here's our next uh, new word. Aren't we learning new words today? Here's your word, psychochemical warfare. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Psychochemical warfare. Wow. And, well, and here's your next uh, an acronym for the day, uh, Agent 15. Agent 15, well, that's essentially uh, acid. Uh, you see the component there. <laughs> Tested out at Dugway Proving Ground uh, and, well... Uh, also, Fort McClellan there. Uh, I, w I wonder how many volunteers... They probably didn't have any uh, any problems uh, recruiting uh, for that uh, particular test, if they even told them what they were doing. Anyhow, thanks for lis listening in. Uh, <laughs> I'm waxing nostalgic here. See if you recognize that guy in the middle and the, the first guy. Hope everybody's having a good day. Much love. Make sure and tune in to all the live streams. And we'll catch you all later, okay? Hope everybody's having a good day.